Right on, man. I have my friend Dean Gelflin with me today. He does the Kind Group. And, um, you know, we wanted to kind of tap in with you guys, tell a story a little bit. Uh, the brand is, 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 is functioning. We're here in Las Vegas. Uh, we have an incredible studio here, so kind of like a Willy Wonka vibe going on. A bunch of guys making bongs. And, um, you know, lo and behold, we're, we're able to do it now with, um, with, with the laws that the powers that be in our area. I have a license to uh, manufacture uh, cannabis paraphernalia right here in this building. It's called the Las Vegas Dream Factory. And um, yeah, we're super stoked to be on the show today and kind of, kind of tell you about what's going on. We have a great cannabis play going on in California. Um, we're in all the what I consider the, the premium dispensaries in, in the state. And if we're not, um, they can get a hold of us through our, our distributor, Pounds Distribution, LBS. And um, Dean here is where, and I are making a big play with apparel and uh, starting to have some fun with it and really bring some cool <clears throat> designs uh, that are, that are kind of go-to closet pieces on a daily. And um, <clears throat> the big picture around it is it kind of tells a story without being too blunt. Um, you know, if you see somebody else with Jerome Baker gear on, uh, you're going to know they're a weed smoker too. Um, so you kind of know your tribe. Uh, it's a little bit of a marker, a little distinguishing thing. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's kind of a, a, a who's Jerome thing. Uh, you know, what is it? You know, which one's pink? And um, we've had a lot of fun with this through the years. Um, so what, you know, what, what, what do you think? Well, you know, what, what, what's, give me a question. Like, what do you think, what do you know about my brand? And then when, what's, what's something that's, that's driving you, uh, to, to contact me to, to be on the show. Well, man, um, in terms of the brand, you know, I've, I heard about you, you know, many years ago, I've just, I was in Jersey smoking when I was like 16, lived in Kansas for a while. I think the first time I saw one of your bongs was my buddy in KC actually had it. Uh -huh. And um, he's like, oh, man, I just got this, you know, for my birthday, whatever, you know, we smoked out of that. He had some really nice, dark purple nugs. And um, I even think he might have, I think he was from Cali, actually, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. yeah, we were just smoking on that, man. And then lately, though, I've started diving into your stuff, man, even deeper. I've been just looking at, you know, what you're doing, the history of what's, you know, you've done, just being so deep entrenched in the space. And like I was saying, it's a true honor, you know, talking to you about it because, that's deep, man. And it, it just shows through what you're doing. You know, we were just talking a moment ago with Dean, your apparel, everything. And I really like how you're hitting every angle with that factory. It looks awesome, man. I even caught uh, some of your uh, podcast recently. Um, pretty sick, man. Um, I just kind of, you know, we don't need to dive into history and all, but I, I thought it was pretty interesting too. that whole crazy bust that went down, man. And kind of, you were, you were on up. I'm not sure how you felt, but I feel like if it was me, I'd be on the highest high, you know, feeling so good business is crushing it. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, get busted for some bullshit. Right. You know, it's, um, it, it was part of my path, uh, to get me where I am today. Uh, I was, I was manufacturing, you know, uh, water pipes for many years in Eugene, Oregon, 70 employees uh, doing 4 million a year in sales in the late 90s, early 2000. And um, in 2003, I was arrested with Tommy Chong and 55 others in what they called Operation Pipe Dreams. And, um, you know, it was kind of like using the social or using the political system or, the, or the, ju the justice system to make a political statement. And um, I just got caught up in it. But uh, fast forward to today, it gives me street cred. Um, I, I, I did the time for the, for, for the plant and for the laws that, that, that are, <clears throat> that are still among us right now. Um, so part of our whole thing is bringing light and awareness to, you know, what's actually happened with legalization, where we're at and trying to get this thing over the hump right now. Uh, so we can be a little more free with what we do. We still are, um, glass pipe makers and, um, part of the big, you know, you know, innuendo for us is that, uh, you know, uh, glass blowing is not a crime, but it still is in certain capacities in certain states. <clears throat> and, um, you know, we want to definitely bring light to that and try to try to keep highlighting what, you know, what, what we're what we're on our mission for, which is to legalize the plant and give it the respect that it's due.
and and that's very and that's so commendable man and when you're saying this uh, for some reason like a vision of just like a a tree popped in my head man because you're so like deep rooted and all the branches coming off you know you have so many different angles working and you're just so you're one but still so deep in you know the culture the system and it's just it's just cool to hear from you man you know part of the the, the magic for me as an artist is um i make the one glass bong um, you know, people see the one piece that we make and then it gets sold and that's it. We can't replicate it. Similar to a painter can replicate paintings or a sculptor can make bronze editions. The glass piece is only one. So it's taught me how to use media to show off the glass, show the lifestyle that surrounds it and the creation uh, that unfolds to make it happen. Uh, so with all that combined, it's kind of, you know, it's got a lot of really cool energy. <laughs> Um, it relates to the cannabis in that creative way. Uh, so, so people kind of get off on it. Uh, you know, there's been, since I started making glass, tens of thousands of glass blowers that have started making glass. So, you know, you have to understand it's like guitars. It's like a new art form. Um, it's like this, the street artists too, you know, people put different names around it. My name is not really Jerome Baker. It's Jason Harris. And Jerome is giving respect to Jerry Garcia, uh, who we followed around and got inspired to make these bongs. And Baker is what you do with the bong. And designs got me into some, you know, good discounts in, in the stores. So we wrapped that, you know, alias around it so that it, so that I didn't have to be personally associated with manufacturing drug paraphernalia. And still to this day, that's what goes on. So we've just finished a TV show. It's called Operation Pipe Dreamers. It's on Instagram. Uh, you can follow us there to find out when it releases. Uh, we, everything's ready to go. We're just kind of waiting for it to, to, to go to the right channel. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And you're going to be able to see and hear the story around the, the illegality of it and the transition uh, of the pipe making world into an art world. So a lot of fun, a lot of fun to be a part of that. And uh, super stoked to see it come out uh, make sure you guys follow it on instagram operation pipe dreamers I, I find it so interesting the um how glass blowing is so regional and so local in some way um i've been, learned all this in, you know in the last few years about how um there's there's so much into this industry and <clears throat> obviously he sits in such a unique place in it but um on a local level, there's uh, amazing artists who, some of which I know you've worked with, and this is what the show is about, bringing everyone together here. It's in every city, it's in every state, it's in every country, and it's, uh, it's, it, it really is an amazing art. Uh, and, and there's so much to be, to, you know, so much, I don't, so much more that people learn about. Uh, it's, it's, and this show's gonna be, you know, that, that vehicle to, to show this, uh, this, you can now, you know, respect on a local level. You can, you can actually, um, you know, the, he, he goes to different countries and different cities and he brands these pieces of art to that local and people just love it. There's, there's so many opportunities from it. This is true buzz that Mary Jane, now we ain't new to this. From my stones and from my cannabis enthusiasts. Never heard a show as good as this. Uh, number one, it's the best. Bringing in many special guests in the industry of cannabis. Business owners to grow us, even artists you know of. So sit back and just roll up. Perfect show for my smokers. True buzz. Hey.